In ancient times, there were many competing ideas. Some good, some bad, and some simply too complex for simple minds to understand. One day, a curious soul freed some of the nastiest. The brutes and malevolent beasts of legend preferred humans above all others. And from Olympus, the gods doted on their precious subjects. But their days were numbered. A new god took his rightful place as sovereign to man. Purged of the ambivalence that plagued his predecessors, his rule was noble, and his banished evils left to die. Plague came, and death was common. But God made sure that every soul was well looked after. Wickedness was a seductive mistress. Women its easiest prey, but the church and its noble devotees designed foolproof trials that exposed Satan's work. Huh? Alas, the roots of evil ran deep, and many people had to be purified. Depravity was rife, and times were grave until... Enlightenment. The true face of evil was found and removed. It was an exhilarating time with much heady excitement. Industry proliferated, bringing unparalleled ability, but also potential for unnatural life. Women were rejecting their devoted masters, <laughs> relying instead on their own delicate wits. <laughs> and buried perversions resurfaced, ego and id locked in contentious battle, while new science tried to illuminate the murk within. <laughs> Meanwhile, God died. The people languished in apathy until a failed painter <laughs> things for them. Battle became fear. Fear became madness. Madness became rock and roll. Nice white kids found darker music to dance to. And for now, evil became a matter of follicular freedom. But a new reign of terror was waiting in the wings. By now, evil was so vast and penetrating that it was safer, really, to keep an eye on everyone. <laughs>